Why was Fallout London delayed? When's the new release date? And is Fallout London coming to console? And if not, where can you download it? I'm trying to help get the word out about Fallout London and increase the understanding about the situation they're in around the delay. So if you can leave a like on the video to help increase exposure and get the word out, that would be fantastic. If you didn't know, Fallout London is a new fan-made mod similar in size and scale to Fallout 4, but it's made by fans. It's fully voice acted with new quest lines, entire factions, tons of areas of London that you can explore that have weapons and new mechanics to experience. It's basically going to be a new Fallout game in an unofficial capacity. And it was set to release on the 23rd of April, just over a week away. The problem is, is that because Fallout London is a mod for Fallout 4, it relies on other community fan-made mods to function. So at release, it would work perfectly for a couple of days until Bethesda's next-gen update for Fallout 4 releases on the 25th of April, just a couple of days later. This will break lots of mods that Fallout London relies on to function, thus making it unplayable. And the Fallon team, the creators of the Fallout London mod, have just posted an update about this situation. And it's honestly heartbreaking to see because I know how much work they've put into this project and also how tantalizingly close they are to finish it. Dean says in the video that the game is literally ready to launch. Everything's done and it's, it was ready to release on the 23rd. But as soon as Bethesda announced that the next gen update is coming for Fallout 4, they knew that would break key structural mods like the F4SE script extender, which is one of the main mods that other mods rely on to function. If that mod doesn't work, then none of the newly implemented animation mods or UI changes and lots of other things that they've added into Fallout London would function either. So the only option for the team is to delay Fallout London until they fix all of the broken systems that they've been building for the last four years. I kind of wanted to make this video to also manage your expectations expectations on just how long this might take. Fallout London haven't given us a new release date for when their mod will come out. And the reason for this is really obvious if you're in the modding scene, but if you're not, you've probably got question marks as to what's going on. And the truth is, is that Fallout London relies on several different mods made by different people scattered all over the world, most of which are in full-time jobs and have families. And all of those different people are going to need to update their mods in their free time to allow these other mods to function again. And then the Fallout London team need to go and fix their own systems and internal mods to make sure that they work. As you can imagine, this is all going to take time and all of the delays to the updates of these bigger mods have a knock-on effect on the smaller mods and the Fallout London team. We had this exact same issue with the Skyrim mod list and we soon will have it as well with our Fallout 4 mod list. You see, you have to wait for other people to update their work for free before you could update and fix your own stuff. I think it took us over a month and a half to get our Skyrim mod list back up and running after the most recent Bethesda update. We even had to remove some mods that never got updated because they were kind of pretty old. And the guys who created them originally just aren't around anymore. And this is just one of the unfortunate consequences of when Bethesda update their game, especially Fallout 4 because it's not been updated in like over four years or something. But another really common question that Dean addresses in this video is, is Fallout London coming to console? Now, anyone in the modding scene definitely knows the answer to this question, but just to be very clear, it is not. And he clarifies exactly why, and that's because this mod is 30 to 40 gigabytes in size. So there's just no way they're going to be able to launch it on Bethesda.net for Xbox users to play. That and it also has so many external assets, so it's not going to go onto PlayStation either. You can't add in any voice acting, script extenders, or new weapon 3D models or anything on the PlayStation. But unfortunately, Xbox is also off the table as well. So the mod obviously will be releasing on PC. So if you haven't upgraded your PC yet, I'm actually planning on moving country soon and I'll need to build a new PC myself. So if you're interested, I might actually do like a PC build video and show you how to do it yourself. If you don't want to do it yourself and you want someone else to do it for you, we are actually sponsored by Apex PC and you can use the code ESO for $250 off. I'll link them down below if you're interested in that option as well. 
They've also got a guarantee on their systems too. You can check them out from the link below. But Fallout London is going to be such a big mod that apparently not even the Nexus modding site, the biggest place to upload and download mods, is able to host it, which is crazy to me. I've never even heard of that being an issue, but I think this may be the biggest mod in history. Enderal, which is a complete standalone game in itself, built on the Skyrim game engine, is only 16 gigabytes big, but Fallout London is twice the size. So as for where you'll be able to download Fallout London, the team is going to do their best to make sure it's available in each one of your favorite modding tools. But really excitingly, they're actually going to be doing a collaboration with GOG to make the mod really easy to download. Now, I have heard about some stuff about this behind the scenes, but I'm just going to let them talk about it on their own socials and channels. But if you want to play Fallout London on GOG, you will need to have the base Fallout game on there as well. I'll leave a link below if you haven't downloaded it yet. You might want to wait until launch and see what the situation is, but this is probably going to be the easiest way to play the Fallout London mod. The integration and install process is just going to be dead simple. As Dean says in this video, it's the Fallon team's goal to make Fallout London as easy to install and access as possible for everyone. One of the things that is quite surprising to me though is that a third party is stepping in to help them and not Bethesda. And I just think this is kind of like a missed opportunity not to highlight how cool the modding community is that this has even been possible. But if you are wondering what the next gen update for Fallout 4 actually is and some of the new free downloadable content that Bethesda are going to be including in it, you can check out my breakdown video just here. We go over everything that's included and all the new graphical changes to consoles are coming as well.